to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place. I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And then every time I post a new wig related video, you will get a notification letting you know that I have posted something new. So yes, this is Brunette Wig Place, but today, as you can see, I'm a little bit blonde, which I'm really excited about. So the wig that I have on today is Raquel Welch, straight up with a twist and the color is RL1125 Golden Walnut. So this particular wig was on sale on Facebook from a wig sister and it was a really, really good price because this is a Raquel Welch full monotop lace front, you know, great cap construction wig and we know what the price points on those normally are i think this one goes for in the 300s or so and it was much less than that so i thought you know what that looks like a brand <laughs> that i might be able to embrace and i just thought i think it would also be resellable if it doesn't look good on me so i'm going to go ahead and buy it and we'll see and i love this blonde like this is the first blonde that i've reviewed that i actually feel like I can embrace. I've worn this, I wore this to a New Year's Eve party. That's how much I, how comfortable I feel in it. And the blondes that I've had in the past, I have tended to wear them for my reviews and maybe like a trip to the grocery store or something. And then I just had come home, looked at myself in the mirror and said, no, this is not the color for me. And this one, I really, really love. So I'm super excited to find a blonde. So the blonde highlights that are in this shade are golden. And I think that makes it a warmer blonde. And I think it's the warmth in the tone that is working with my skin tone, at least with my fall and winter skin tone. I'm. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like in the summer. Um, when my skin gets a little bit more tan, but for right now, I feel like it's working with my skin tone and everything and I'm super excited about it. So let me go ahead and do a turn all the way around and then we'll get into all of her specifications and we will just check her out. She's super cute. She's a style I've wanted to try for a long time and I'll tell you the other things I'm happy about with her too. So anyway, but first we're going to turn. So here she is from the front. I love this side sweep of this, um, slightly shorter layer in the front very flattering to the face, gives a little bit of head, you know, forehead coverage. Just very pretty. And the highlights are placed beautifully. We'll talk about that with the color, but very happy with that too. Okay, so this is my left side. The back, super cute back. My right. And back to the front. Okay, so as far as measurements, she is 3.25 ounces in weight. So she's very, very lightweight. She's a great uh, length too, as far as, you know, the not rubbing shoulders and things like that. So um, the front here is eight inches. The crown measurement is also eight inches. So that layer, as you can see, kind of extends through the wig. Um, the sides right here are five inches. The back, is seven inches and her nape is 2.5 inches which is a nice i feel like that's a good length um you know i don't have a lot of hair but if you do have hair that you're putting up in a wig cap i feel like that's a good length for um you know getting good coverage back there and there's plenty of hair on the wig so you know not to, you're not gonna have to worry about um you know thin areas or anything like that where you feel like you might see you know I don't know, I feel like sometimes if you do have a ponytail or a bun, you know, you can get, if you if the density is too low, you can really get a kind of a stick out effect back here. That's a technical term, by the way. Um, and uh, I, I feel like there's enough hair on this and enough density that, and the denier of the, of the fibers is good, so you wouldn't have that problem. So that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, okay, so she has a gorgeous lace front. This is a Raquel Welch drop dead gorgeous lace front. I love their lace fronts. I think they are the some of the best in the industry. Just so well done. And you can see that highlight placement they have right up there, right up against the lace front. Again, that works to hide any dark knots. You do have a medium light brown base on this one, but they have put all that blonde there at the front. 
And I think the highlights are placed very nicely as far as, you know, that's how a stylist would put highlights on your hair too. Okay, she has a full mono top, so you can part her anywhere you want to. I'll show you my part here. Um, I haven't really worried about if the part was too even or anything. She's just kind of fun to just kind of fluff and floof, so, but I hope you can see that. Stretch it so you can try to see that mono top, but very nice. You know, you get a good parting space. If you could do middle, you could do the left side if that's your preference. So, so really, really cute. Sorry, right side. Sometimes I get my hands wrong. Okay, so let's look at her cap construction on the inside. Okay, so here is the interior of the cap. So, like I said, you have the full mono top which is their Sheer Indulgence Monotop. You can see it's a very generous monotop. Very big monotop, very nice. Those stripes and things you see are just different hair color placement in that hand tied, those hand tied areas. So that's those highlights you're seeing and the lower light, uh, medium light brown. She has the um, Temple to Temple lace front, which is very nicely done. Invisible lace, I love their lace as well. She has very soft um, velvet lined um, ear tabs with a nice piece of metal in there. I'll show you the ear tabs on my face too. I just realized I didn't show you that. Open wefting all through the cap for coolness. This is the Memory Cap 2, which by the way, Memory Cap 2 seems to be the one that fits my petite head well. So something to note. She has an extended nape with that same velvety softness there and she has Velcro adjusters. So very, very nice. Okay. Okay, I do wanna show you those ear tabs so I don't forget. So really, really great coverage. I do have some bio hair here, which is showing just a little bit. I have to always have to make sure when I, sometimes when I pull it back to show you the ear tab, I actually pull the cap back, but I do have really good coverage there. Ear tabs are nice and flush up against my face, which is nice. And like I said, this cap is fitting my petite head very nicely. I don't have any, you know, it's not too big pushing up against the back of my ear or anything like that. So great coverage on the ear tabs. Really, really cute. Okay, so let's talk about this blondie brown color, RL1125 Golden Walnut. So the description of Golden Walnut is a medium light brown, evenly blended with medium golden blonde. I think that is very accurate. As you can see, I think my lighting is probably showing you the gold that is in this blonde. Definitely golden as opposed to some of their, I think it's the biscuit colors that they have that's a cooler blonde. So this is a golden blonde. Really pretty. Like I said, I love the way the highlights are placed around the face. So I'll, you know, I'll do some styling in a minute, but if, when you pull that hair back, those highlights remain around your face. The highlights are flattering around your face. You know, that's how your stylist would do it on your bio hair. So, and then they do go, of course, all through the wig, but they get a little, you know, just a little more subtle as the, you go back towards the back of the wig, but they do exist. The blonde is all through the color. And then that 11 is this light brown here. I think this is the best place for you to see the brown. It's not rooted, but I don't know. With the, with the two colors um, together, I don't really feel like the rooting is needed, so. Really pretty, I'm just loving it. So cute. Okay, let's take um, Golden Walnut outside and we'll look at the color in the natural light. Okay, so I am outside and Raquel out straight up with a twist in RL1125 Golden Walnut. So. You can definitely see those two colors. This is a, definitely a bold highlighted color. So if you like a more subtle highlight, this might not be the color for you. But I'm generally pretty conservative and I'm comfortable in this. Show you the lace front out here. Really good. So you can see that, um, you know, that 11, and then your 25 is your golden blonde. Okay, let's walk out here in the sun. It is a bright, sunny day. Ooh, very bright. So this is where the blonde's gonna really pop. 
look at that in the sun she goes almost completely blonde but no doubt there's a lot of blonde in this wig so So we are back inside. Beautiful color. I'm really happy with it. So I do want to mention the uh, density of the wig. I feel like it's pretty low density. I mean, as you can see, you know, I have a small face and um, it's not real poofy. Actually, it's, it's styled more. You can get more volume if you want to, but it doesn't have a lot of permatease. I looked all through the layers and I was looking. There's a bit of a bump of it you know, right back here when you first come off the mono top, which is pretty typical, um, just to give a little lift back there, but it's not bad at all. So I'm happy with the density. Um, you know, I just think it's very natural looking and it's fun. The layers are a lot of fun, you know, shake and go. They just kind of flop in a pretty way and, you know, flip up a little bit and curl under in other places. She's just got really great movement and I'm very happy with the density. So, okay, so as far as styling, first I'll show you glasses because we always have to cover glasses, right? Make sure, so glasses are a breeze. Even with my petite head and this being an average cap, the glasses are no problem because this cap is just fitting me great. I'm so excited about it. All I did as far as, you know, bringing her in, I brought the adjusters in just slightly and that's it. So, so glasses are working great. Put the hair behind my ear so you can see the glasses easier. So as you can see, very easy on off, no problem. Up on the head. Sorry, I pulled the wig back. These aren't the best glasses for up on the head. They're kind of flimsy. <laughs> But I think, you know, your sunglasses and things like that would work fine going up on the head. So as far as styling, you know, she's cute. I like the way she's staying out of my face, just down, you know, on her own. But she can also be clipped back in cute clips, you know. Um, she's not going to be, of course, your ponytail wig or anything like that. But any kind of cute clip, you could pull her back in, you know. If you had matching clips, you could pull back both sides. It's got a beautiful lace front. You can do all kinds of things with that. Um, you could, you know, pull all the top back and put her up, you know, in a claw clip. Just put a bump up there on the top and that would be cute too. Super cute. Um, she's cute with headbands. You know, headbands are always great for these cute little styles. Just stick a headband in or if you want to go behind the ears, she can also be worn behind the ears, by the way. She's very ear tuckable. So that just kind of changes the style up too. Really cute. So very cute. So I'm really, really happy with her. You know, you could also even go, you know, comb her off the face and use some, you know, uh, synthetic safe hairspray and everything. These are the uh, true to life heat friendly fibers, so they are heat tolerant, so you can straighten and curl them as you'd like as well. So I think the tag says that they are safe up to 300 degrees or so. You'll have to, you need to double check that whenever you get a heat friendly wig just to make sure. So, but they are, you know, stylable. You could curl it if you wanted to, but I love the straight style. It's really cute. I don't really think it needs to have any heat put on it, you know, but that heat is also great if the ends start to show some wear over time. You can put some heat on the ends and um, get that. Um, I like using a hot air brush personally for that to get those ends to not look so clumpy and that kind of thing. So, but I think this length, she's going to last a long time. She's not going to be rubbing on a lot of fabrics or anything like that. So I really love that. So super cute. Straight Up with a Twist by Raquel Welch in RL1125 Golden Walnut. Thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.